Hey, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I am making six loaves of bread in just one hour. So my name is Kristen. I am the second sister from SixSisterStuff.com. Now, if you have been to our channel before and have subscribed but have not pushed that little bell, go ahead and do that now because that's the only way you'll get our notifications every time that we post to YouTube. So today I'm sharing with you my tips and my tricks on how to make six loaves of bread, you heard that right, six loaves in just one hour. Now my first trick of doing it is you have to get the right kind of yeast and I'll show you that in a second. The second way of making six loaves in one hour is by using a Bosch mixer. Now if you've never heard of Bosch before, I've been using a Bosch for about seven years now. I don't have a KitchenAid because I love my Bosch so much. I can double batch almost everything, whether it's cookies, bread. The Bosch can hold up to 15 pounds of dough at one time. That is a ton of dough and that is a lot of bread for just one recipe. So now we work with Bosch, usually over at SixSisterStuff.com, but I'm bringing Bosch over to YouTube because I love it that much. Well, if you go to the link in the description, you can get 20% off our special summer package right now. If you click on that, I'll show you everything that you can get in that summer package. But for now, I'm just gonna show you how to make the six loaves of bread in just one hour. Now I'm first gonna start off by telling you the kind of wheat that I use. This is called red wheat, and I actually love to grind it myself. You can get it at Bosch also. I've had it for about five years, and I love grinding my own wheat. If you don't want to grind your own, you can use wheat flour from the store or just normal white flour. Now the trick to this recipe is using instant yeast. This is the kind of yeast that I buy because I can get it on Amazon for pretty cheap. I'll put a link in the description for you. So we're doing two tablespoons of yeast. Then I'm just putting my dough hook on so I'm ready to go. Okay, next you're going to add six cups of warm water. Then you're going to add two-thirds cup of oil. This can be canola oil or vegetable oil. I use vegetable oil because I don't have canola oil right now. Then you're going to add two-thirds cup of honey. This can be your favorite honey, honey from the Honey Bear. That's the one I'm using. Just two-thirds cup and then pour it right in on top of your yeast and your water. Then you're going to add two tablespoons of salt that will just go right on top. Then on top of that, you're gonna add just six cups of flour right now. Once you've added all six cups, you're going to put your lid on, make sure it's sealed tightly, or the, you don't want the flour to explode out of it. You're gonna put it on M to make it all nice and smooth. Now, once that's incorporated pretty well, you're gonna take the lid off and you're gonna add seven to eight more cups of flour. At the end, I really didn't count the flour. I'll show you how you can tell when it's all the way done. So right now I'm just adding seven more cups of flour. Now my Bosch is starting to fill up. It is looking good. Once you put your flour in, you're gonna put the lid on, and this time you're gonna go to one. We're gonna let it sit on one for a little bit to mix it really well. Now while it's mixing, you're gonna take the little lid off, and you're gonna start adding a half a cup at a, a time. By adding just a half a cup of flour at a time, you're not gonna be adding too much flour. You just have to watch it. So I'm gonna be adding one half at a time. See how it's kind of starting to come off the edges? Now, after you're done putting all of your flour in, it will start wiping the edges pretty clean of the dough. Once it hits that phase, that means you're done adding your flour and you can just let it mix. Okay, look at those edges. See how it's wiped it clean? That means you're done adding flour to your bread dough. Now once you see that, it's time to turn your little knob over to two, and you're gonna let it sit on two for about six to eight minutes. The machine is going to do the kneading for you, so you don't even have to get your hands dirty at this point. Now when your six to eight minutes is done, go ahead and turn it to off and take the lid off. Now I'm going to flour it down on my counter a little bit just so it doesn't stick too bad to my counter. All right, now it's time to pull all of the dough out of the bowl. I would just dump it out, but it was too heavy to lift up. So I'm getting my hands floured a little bit just so it's easier to spread the dough around. I'm not spreading the dough thin, I'm just making it easier for myself so I can try to evenly cut the, the dough into loaves. 
Now if you want to be really technical, you can weigh it and even it out that way, but it's just for my family and neighbors, so it doesn't really matter that much to me. So I'm just going to eyeball it. Alright, I have six loaf pans. They don't match, but that's okay. I sprayed them with non-stick cooking spray just so I don't have to deal with the sticking part. So I'm going to kind of curl under the edges and just stick it right into the bread pan. Now once you're all done putting the bread into the bread pans, you're going to wait about 20 minutes to let it rise so that it doubles in size. The last 10 minutes I like to set my oven. I set it to 350 degrees and now I'm ready to stick the bread right inside of the oven. I did all six loaves in the same oven. You're now going to cook the bread for 30 minutes. Now when it's all done, you're going to take it out of the oven and let it cool for just a minute before you take it out of the pans. I didn't have a large enough cooling rack, so I decided to use a rack from my oven, cleaned it down really good, and put my bread on top. It worked perfect for a cooling rack. All right, you guys, that is all I have for you today. If you want to grab a Bosch for yourself that's 20% off, go ahead and click the link in the description, and I'll send you to the right place. All right, guys, see you later. Bye.